Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going well this morning. And uh, I'm going to invite some people in here this morning. And uh, good morning, Mom. How are you doing this morning? <clears throat> and... Uh, it's doing well here, and uh, it's a beautiful day this morning. We're dealing with Philippians 3.14, and uh, so if you have your Bible, go ahead and turn it open to that. Philippians 3.14. So, it says this, I said, it says, I press on to reach the end of the race and race toward, reach the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. I was reading that this morning and so many different things. This is one of my favorite. Good morning, Janet. This is one of my favorite passages. I love, you know, you read your, your Bible and you're like, oh, that's my favorite passage. This is my favorite passage. You know, and I have so many favorite verses. Good morning, uh, Nick uh, and Della. And so I'm just, I love, I love when you begin to, read scripture and you like highlight and, and underline this is my favorite scripture this is my favorite scripture this is my favorite scripture. there's just so many scriptures to make a good morning so many different passages that just good morning james just so many different passages of scriptures that just kind of go oh yeah that's my favorite no that's my favorite this is one that i just you know i quote several times Philippians uh, 3 14 my life verse is Philippians 4 13 so um, so it says I press on to reach the end of the race and reach the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us and so when you read a verse you know there's there's always um, these these visuals that come in your mind and good morning ryan and and oh this verse is for you too good morning bob this verse for you ride uh for your races that's coming up um i press on to reach the pro end of the race and reach the heavenly prize for which god through christ jesus is calling us uh, this is this is one of those bike riding uh, verses. Uh, whenever I ride my bike, I'm always like, I'm reaching towards the end of the race, you know, uh, but it's always for heavenward when I pass away. But uh, when I, uh, when I was riding the DK and I was getting through the chute, I was like, yeah, I finally made it to the prize to get that little uh, half pint, you know, <laughs> but I'm just, you know, just thinking as we go through life, what is our purpose in life? What is, what are we trying to accomplish? You know, so many times in life, we, in this society, people are accomplishing for themselves. And um, it is, we're, we're a selfless society. And, but here we're pressing on for the prize that is heavenward where we need to have that focus everything else can fall into place um that we need to have fall in place those things to yeah to please god those those things that w we do in life we pursue christ but the things that like work and all that stuff but to honor god in what we're doing we can live a really good life, but still honor God. I mean, 
um, the things that I'm doing in life. Yes, I'm a preacher, but I do things outside of my preacherness. How's that? And, you know, I ride bikes. I, I uh, talk to people outside the church. I'm not just living in a church in the higher tower and, you know, in, uh, sitting on a platform. That's not all I do, by the way. You know, I go hang out with normal people, whatever that means. Well, I hang out with, you know, people that ride bikes. That's not normal crowds, by the way. Uh, Ryan, you know that to be true. Anyway, so, but um, the very fact is um, we have to realize that we can pursue Christ and still have a normal life. We just, we change our perspective and live with him in the forefront of our mind to please God. As, as my mom has pointed out, what is our purpose is to please God, is to pursue God and have him in the first, in our priorities of our life. And too many times when I've talked to people about, you know, receiving Christ, they always go, oh, it's all a bunch of rules. It, it, yeah, there's things that we might have to change in our life to be, be a Christian, but that comes in time. As you study his word, as you, as you uh, follow after him. But once you accept Christ, it's not like, oh, now you're like really perfect I'm not perfect, and I've been a Christian for many, many years. I don't think I've ever met a perfect Christian. I mean, we all, the Bible literally says that we've all sinned and fallen short of their glories. We're all sinners, and um, we're God, and God's still working on me. If you've made it, please tell me your secret. Um, I just, uh, there's just, um, <laughs> they're just, too much to, for me for God to work on me he's just constantly working on me and constantly forgiving me so uh, praise the Lord that he loves me that much and so I, I just God is just good I just tell you that so <laughs> so I just uh, I was just thinking about that this morning so the pursuant of God and when I read that this morning, is this pursuant. Um, I remember I was on a ride along with an officer one time and and he clicked on his his lights and he was after a person in his car, right? And, uh, and I mean, he was hitting some good speeds and they pulled over the person and uh, I'm thinking he was pressing on to get that person pulled over. And I'm thinking, okay, we press on. We're in pursuit of the higher prize, that heaven word, that goal, that, that one desire. And we need to have that focus, that one focus, that one desire, that, that, that desire to have that, that, true relationship that and how do we get that we get in his word we get into a, a definite prayer life we we really truly follow after christ and so I just encourage you oh by the way ryan you like my hat i got it from you my friend anyways uh, so philippians three fourteen is the verse it says this, write this verse out, get your notebook out, write this verse out. I press on to reach the end of the race and reach the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. And so write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So uh, a couple of prayer requests I have is, um, Praying for um, my father, and my father-in-law, and my father both need healing, and uh, my mom needs strength. My mother-in-law needs strength, and and so uh, and uh, so 
oh yeah, the shirt is from one of your races too, Ryan. So, <laughs> but uh, anyways, so let's pray this morning. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank that you thank you that you're in charge of all things. Lord, I praise you that, Lord, uh, I pray for my father-in-law that you heal him and that, Lord, that you take care of him, Lord Jesus. And I pray for my mother-in-law that, Lord, that you give her strength and, Lord, that you be with Carrie as she's there as well and give her strength. I pray for my father that, Lord, that you uh, will heal him and uh, be with my mom, give her strength. I pray for... Um, this virus that is going across. I pray that, Lord, that you continually heal it. And, Lord, as we're opening the states and this country, Lord God, that, Lord, that you bring a hedge of protection over us as we're continually gathering together, Lord God. We just need protection now. That, Lord, the virus will not come back around, Lord God. And, Lord, I thank you that, Lord, that we're just, um, we're just pursuing of you, Lord. And Lord, I do pray for the unspoken, Lord God, whether it's health or finances, Lord God. Lord, you know what they are. And there's other unspoken as well. Lord, please meet those as well. And Lord, I thank you for those. I pray that, Lord, that you can help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And Lord, uh, we thank you for that. Lord, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock. But hey, before you go, tonight at 6.30, on First Assembly of God, Burlington, Kansas Facebook page, we have a Wednesday night's Bible study. We are studying the book of Colossians. So God bless you. Hope to see you tonight at 630. We'll see you later. God bless you. Love you guys.